Good morning, everybody. Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Miss Allison. This week, we're talking a lot about a kind of transportation called construction vehicles, right? Here are some pictures of construction vehicles. These vehicles are equipment that help workers either build something or tear something down or get the ground ready for a building to rise. And in today's story, we are going to learn that a lot of this work is done at night. And in our story called The Night Worker, which is about a little boy whose father works at a construction site at night. All right, let's find out what happens in this story called The Night Worker. The Night Worker, written by Kate Banks. Night falls. Bedtime comes. Papa kisses Alex goodnight. Then he puts on his hard hat. He is a night worker. That means he goes to work at night when most people are sleeping. He goes to work in the nighttime, and a lot of people go to work in the daytime. Most people go to work in the daytime, right? Take me with you, whispers Alex. Not tonight, says Papa. Get some sleep. There's Alex in his bed. See his stuffed animal and some of his toys are construction vehicles. He likes vehicles. One night, Papa has a surprise. It's a hard hat for Alex. Alex puts it on and smiles. Come on, says Papa. And while Mama sleeps, Alex and Papa head quietly into the night. Tonight, says Papa, you will come to work me and be a night worker. A street sweeper, which cleans the streets, is going by. A delivery man parks his truck. And then there is also a policewoman. Papa tells Alex these people are night workers too. There are all different jobs that happen at night. Papa pulls into the construction site. He's working on a very tall building in the city. Alex hears the rattle and clank of the heavy machinery coming from the construction vehicles. Men are getting the earth ready for a building. This is the construction site at night. Can you see the crane? Can you see the excavator? Can you see the dump truck? See how all the lights are on so they can see at night? See how the illustrator or the artist for this book drew the pictures with darker colors because it's nighttime and how they drew light with the color yellow? That's really, really a beautiful way to draw nighttime. Let's see what happens in the story. Papa and Alex put on their flashlights and they survey or look all around at the work site. Stars are shining at night. See, there's Alex and his dad going down the stairs to check out all of the construction at night. Papa stops to talk to the foreman. He's in charge of the building. And he says, we are digging here. He points to a bulldozer leveling the ground. Dust rises in the air from the bulldozer, and it looks like a nighttime shower. There's the bulldozer pushing the earth, and there's the little boy Alex and his dad and the foreman. The excavator rumbles and turns. It reaches its giant arm in the air almost like it's waving. Alex waves back. Then it puts its claw into the earth and digs out some dirt. See the excavator? And there's Alex waving. He thinks the arm of the excavator looks like a hand waving. In a corner is a cement mixer turning steadily. It has to keep turning so the cement stays wet. Men are 
pouring concrete and sealing off the earth. His father says that is called the foundation. When you pour the concrete across the ground and make a flat layer, that is called the foundation. And then you build the building there. See, they're all wearing hard hats to be safe because they don't want anything to fall on them. But if it does, their heads will be protected by the hard hats. Alex looks over the railing. A crane is moving a big load across the sky. Wow, look at the crane. See the beautiful light painted in yellow coming down? And there's the heavy load that the crane is lifting. So many different construction vehicles. Alex says he wants to help. Who wouldn't? It would be so fun to help. And do you know what? His papa says, up you go. And Alex gets to go into the big yellow loader and he gets to sit next to the driver inside. And he gets to help. Slowly, they crawl across the gravel. The driver says, okay, pull on the levers now. Are you ready? Look at that. He's operating the machine. He's operating the construction vehicle. What a fun night he's having. I'm a night worker too, says Alex, emptying the load. The dump truck comes and then he picks up the load and drives to the gate and a whistle sounds and everything stops. When the whistle sounds, it's time for the night workers to take a break. See the dump truck? See the bulldozer? Papa and Alex look all around one last time. It's so quiet. It's nighttime in the city. And it's so beautiful. Papa lifts Alex. I'm tired, says Alex. And they head back through the night to their house. A couple stands in the street light and a woman is walking her dog. Nighttime in the city. Usually Alex is asleep during this time, so he's seeing all new things. It's very late when he gets home. He takes off his hard hat and puts it down next to his bed, puts on his pajamas, and gets all cozy in his bed with his favorite stuffed animals. Morning comes, and while the city wakes, a little boy named Alex is still asleep. He dreams of being a night worker. Wasn't that beautiful, boys and girls? How the artist used dark colors to make it look like night and yellow to make it look like light. And how the little boy's papa took him to work with him at night. It is fun to go to work sometimes with your parents, with your moms and dads, and see what they do. Do your parents work in the daytime or the nighttime? Maybe a little bit of both. Maybe they work in their office at home a little bit at nighttime to get some work done on their computer. But a lot of construction vehicles work at night along with the night workers. All right, I'm glad you enjoyed the story, boys and girls. We've learned a lot about construction vehicles this week. See you next time. Love you.